Okay, hello everyone, let's get started. So, as it was promised in the last video, uh, from now on we start a new series of videos, so we create a separate playlist uh, where we will discuss the most popular big data database uh, in Hadoop ecosystem uh, named Hive. Okay, uh, so in previous videos we talked about Scoop uh, which allows us to import data from uh, from HDFS or Hive to MySQL and vice versa. So if you haven't seen the, li uh, the latest video related to uh, homework where we export export data from MySQL to uh, Hive, yeah, it's right time to do that. You should see a link just on the right top corner. Other than that, uh, let's get started. Uh, so today we'll talk about uh, some basic uh, Hive functionality, like how we start Hive console, so how we access this database, how we can uh, create a new database, a new, a new table, how to look around, which databases we have, which tables in a particular database we have, so how we create a new table, how we can insert data and how we can actually retrieve data from a table. Yeah? Uh, so the manual related to Scoop was was given uh, using Cloudaravia. Yeah? So uh, uh, here you, for Hive we mostly will use uh, Hortonworks VM. Yeah? Okay, so uh, we assume that you have already installed and configured your Hortonworks virtual machine. If you haven't done that yet, it's just right time to do that. On the top right corner you should see a link to our video manual how you can do that. Yeah? So please watch it carefully. So, but if you have installed everything, so let's get started. So we assume that VM is running and you have also uh, connected to it using uh, some uh, shell client like Kitty. Yeah, so we are connected to our HDP sandbox and just to get access to Hive we start a console application by typing Hive. Okay? Uh, so as HDP uh, consists of uh, the latest version of Hive, uh, then uh, actually Beeline tool is used for connecting to Hive. In previous releases uh, Hive uh, uh, CLI was used. Yeah? So uh, in one of the next videos we'll show I will show how we can access Hive using all tools like Hive Console. Uh, for that we will use Caldera VM, but today we'll connect to Apache Hive version 3, as you can see here, yeah, and we are using Beeline program for that. Okay, so actually you don't need to provide any, uh, any parameters. Uh, to be able to connect to your local Hive DB, yeah, just type Hive. But as you can see under the hood, actually Beeline finds, yeah, the way how we connect to Hive. Yeah, so here you can see actually the connection string, right? And worth to mention that Hive actually for storing data uh, uses uh, HDFS under the hood. Yeah, so you should by this time understand what HDFS is and how we utilize it. So if you don't remember that, on the top right corner you can see a link to our video guide. Yeah, so please pause this video and have a look. Also uh, there are some articles related to HDFS on our website. Just a reminder, blog.dataguru.guide. So don't forget to visit it, register and keep an eye on it. Uh, because from time to time we post uh, we post some articles yeah, related to big data. But okay, so we are in. We have connected to Hive. So what's next? Uh, so first, let's look around. So the major unit of Hive is a database, right? And Hive can contain multiple databases. Yeah, to check. 
which databases are actually defined are defined we use a console command show databases databases okay and each column uh, each command of hive should be ended by semicolon okay show databases okay so and we can see the output so right now we have five databases defined okay uh, okay so then we execute some queries against some database we should somehow let know uh, hive with which database we want to work with yeah to do that we type use and database name like myself i am writing use data uh, default that means that all next commands uh, should be executed against database default right okay so uh, hive knows that we are going to use default database and let's check which tables we have in our default database by doing that uh, so to do that we should execute a command show tables show tables okay and we see that we have a table tt in our database okay okay fine uh, to be able to retrieve data from from a table we should use command select uh, so that's the basic uh, hive command which allows us to extract data from a table yeah okay so the syntax is very simple select then we should name the columns from which we want to take data from uh, so if we want to take data from all columns defined for a particular table in that case we should use asterisk uh, select asterisk that means that we retrieve data from all columns in a table from keyword from and table name tt okay and we get some data so as we can see we have two columns defined uh, as you can see here is a column name uh, so it consists of uh, table name tt and column name so we have two columns named AAA and BBB yeah, and we have one row of data right okay so if we want to check which uh, for example columns are defined for a particular table we should use a command describe describe TT oh, sorry describe TT and we see that for our table we have two columns defined so actually we can see that we have a column with a column name like AAA and also we have a data type which actually tells us the type of the data we can store in this particular column right so for example for column BBB the data type is int or integer that means that in this column we can store only data with a type integer yeah so if we'll try to insert some data in this column which is not of type integer then we'll get an error yeah? for example because we can't uh, save a string in an integer type uh, column right okay okay now let's let's move on by creating a new database uh, so for doing that let's write a create so create and as there are many entities in hive which we can create like uh, database uh, table view yeah, about views we'll talk later in a different video so now we should specify what actually we want to create yeah, and as you see if I don't place semicolon yeah, so hive thinks that I'm still entering my command okay yeah so now I have an error because I haven't defined anything besides create 
yeah, but something else should be defined. So first create, then I should name the entity which I want to create. In our case, that's a database. I want to create a new database. And then we should provide a name for our database. Let, let's uh, call, it, uh, call it first database and semicolon. Okay, so now if we check by using show databases, uh, basis. As you can see now we have a new database available here, first database, which was not which was not available here, right? So here we had five rows or five databases. Now we have six rows or six databases. Okay, so let's move to our database by once again specifying queues and database name first database okay now we are in our database our newly created database and let's check which tables we have there okay as we expected no tables defined here okay now let's let's create a sample table by executing this command create now we want to create a table then we should specify the name of the table table and here we should specify in the brackets all parameters related to to a table yeah so in this first introduction uh, lesson we'll only create a table with uh, let's say two columns like we had in our example without digging into details what we can actually do uh, besides specifying uh, column names and types. Yeah, so in the next video we'll talk in details about uh, creating a table. Yeah? So in which format we save our data and so on. Yeah, so today just an introduction how we create a table. Okay, so create table, first table. Okay. Then we specify a column name, column one and its type. Let's say it's string and column 2 and let's give it a type integer like we had in our example and yeah semicolon okay table should be created let's check show tables uh, as you can see we have our first table defined let's let's check the metadata or data about our table Okay, as you can see, we have our two columns, column one, column two, and uh, designated data types. Okay, and the last comment for today, we'll talk about how we can actually insert data. Okay, for that, we have a special command insert into, then we specify a table name, our first table. Okay, and then we specify a um, columns in which we want to insert data yeah so like column one column two but this should be done only if for example we have two columns like uh, we have in our example but we want to insert data only in one column yeah? in that case we should also specify column names in which we want to insert data uh, uh, right now let's insert data in both columns so we don't need to provide column names uh, but still we should mention a keyword values which tells us that we are going to provide values yeah? and here in the brackets we provide actual values to be inserted yeah? and actually here we should think about data types right so the first column type is string okay let's do that Okay, for example, A, B, C, and integer it's 22. Okay. Okay. So what we see here? So the problem is, so what the problem is that A, B, C, yeah, so uh, we are trying to insert A, B, C value into column type string. Yeah, but have actually doesn't understand that this is a string 
yeah, uh, to specify that it's actually a string, we should use quotes. Yeah, if we don't use quotes, it assumes that this ABC is a column name from where we should take this particular value. Okay, let's try once again using quotes. Let's see. Yeah, so basically that should work now. And just remember that. Yeah, so if you insert a data of type string or varchar, uh, about which we'll talk in the tables next video, uh, when we'll talk about uh, how we create tables, yeah, then to ensure that Hive understands that this is a string, you should use quotes like I use here. Yeah? Other than that, it assumes that it's a column name from where we take data. Okay, so as you can see, I've created a task for inserting data into, into a database. Okay, so it seems everything is fine. Okay, um, okay, also quite interesting that we can see that loading data to table. Yeah? And here we actually see a location on HDFS where the actual data is stored, right? And as we know by using command select asterisk from first table, let's check whether data has been inserted or not. Okay, and as you can see, everything is perfectly fine. Yeah? So in column 1 we have this ABC and in column 2 we have 22. Okay, so that's all for today actually. Yeah, so just to sum up, today we talked about how we can access uh, Hive in HDP virtual machine version 3, yeah, using Beeline by specifying just a common Hive, how we can check uh, which databases and tables in a particular database we have, how we can let Hive know against which database we execute our commands, how we can create the simplest uh, table, how we can check uh, which columns and which uh, column data types we have in our table, how to insert data into a particular table and how we retrieve data from a table. Yeah? So, as it was said, uh, next time we'll talk in details how we create a table. Yeah? So, we will go through multiple options how we create a table in a hive. Yeah? But for today, that's all. Yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that yet. Yeah? So, we are going to publish at least one video per week. Yeah? So, stay tuned. Also, don't forget to visit our website available at blog.dataguru.guide uh, please register there so we also post some articles there in the upcoming one or two days there should be an article available there which uh, will describe Hive in more details from theoretical point of view yeah? so but for today that's all thanks to all for watching and see you next time bye bye